In the 1970s, radioactive isotopes of the chemical elements cesium and strontium were removed from waste tanks at Hanford to reduce the temperature of the waste inside the tanks. Both elements were ultimately placed in sturdy stainless steel containers called capsules at a building called the Waste Encapsulation Storage Facility, known as WESIF, for safe storage and monitoring. A capsule is really made up of two uh, stainless steel tubes, one inside the other, so they're called doubly encapsulated. Um, each capsule is, uh, has welded shut, it has a, an end cap on the end of it. Jen Pennock is a project engineer at WESIF. She's with the U.S. Department of Energy contractor, CH2M Hill Plateau Remediation Company. The contractor is responsible for monitoring and maintaining nearly 2,000 radioactive capsules. WESIF is located at the center of the Hanford site. This is WESIF, um, where the capsules are stored. The total size of the facility on the first floor and the second floor is about 20,000 square feet. Um, you can kind of see over here is the pool cell area where the capsules are stored. The water in the west of pools glows a color of blue in the effect known as the Sharankov glow. As the radioactive cesium and strontium decay and lose their radioactivity to become stable atoms. The water provides shielding to protect workers and helps keep these elements cool. WESIV is one of the few facilities in the U.S. that is used for wet storage of radioactive materials.